Let's learn the process skill of visualize. Now, hit that subscribe button to get notified whenever we post more questions and solutions. Now, visualize process skill is very similar to translate process skill with the only difference being that in visualize, the output is a visual entity, be it a table or a diagram. Essentially, anything that helps you make more sense of the information given in the question and gets you closer to that solution. So solve this difficult problem solving question now and try visualizing the information. This is an official question from the official guide. Pause the video as you solve this question. Resume when you're done. Good luck. Let's read the question. After driving to a riverfront parking lot, Bob plans to run south along the river, turn around and return to the parking lot running north along the same path okay so it's very important for us to visualize this okay so what's happening is he's there at this parking lot okay this is the parking lot pl he runs south along the river this is south direction and then he turns back he goes back up north and he goes back to this parking lot along the same path so if you think about it this is a starting point this is where he turn arounds this is where he turns around and and he goes back to the parking lot okay so he's actually traveling the same so let's say if he travels this whole the distance is a he's traveling this a distance back as well okay so that's the so you need to make that mental image in your mind uh, this visualization that's very important okay now let's read further after running 3.25 miles south so you're talking about 3. 3.25 miles south so let's say that he's at this point and this is you know 3.25 miles 3.25 miles okay he decides to run only for 50 minutes more now what does that mean this is very important he decides to run only for 50 minutes more which means that all of this distance and this distance needs to be covered in this 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 all all distance needs to be covered in 50 minutes that is what this means okay so very very important to understand if bob runs now there's more information if bob runs at a constant rate of eight minutes per mile now what does eight minutes to cover one mile to cover one mile now this is another way to present the speed information right how many miles farther south how many miles farther south can he run and still be able to return to the parking lot in 50 minutes you see ultimately he has to come back to the parking lot so really the question is what the question is asking is how many miles farther south can he run so really this distance is what the question is asking this x miles this is what the question is asking us to figure out okay so the first thing that i want you to understand over here is to appreciate over here is that we read the question statement and while reading the question statement we not only translated the information okay we also visualized the information and that's very very important visualizing information because when when you take this entire sequence over here and you put it in a form of an image this really gets you a lot closer to your um, to your uh, solution okay now let's let's go back so what what is the information that's given to us um, let's say that he um, let's say that he took t this this segment he took t one minutes and for this segment he took t t two minutes okay so what you know is t one plus t2 is equal to 50 minutes okay that's what you know from here okay and then you also know his speed his speed is what this is his speed eight minutes uh, to cover one mile okay so really what this is saying is to cover as uh, he takes eight minutes to cover one mile okay now how many minutes do we have we have 50 minutes here so in 50 minutes how much will he cover he will cover 50 divided by 8 miles okay which is what which is 6.25 miles okay because you already know how much time he's running for right so in this time given the speed how much will he be able to cover he'll be able to cover 6.25 now what is this 6.25 this is something that you have to understand okay let's think about it from in, in the terms of x now he covers x 
in the 6.25 miles right now he also covers so he this is also x then right and then this distance is 3.25 right so he covers x plus x plus 3.25 and this is equal to 6.25 okay so again we are visualizing this part once again right we are utilizing our visualized information and we are utilizing that to figure out okay what is this 6.25 okay and now we simply solve this 2x plus 3.25 is equal to 6.25 and what you get is x is equal to 1.5 miles and that is your answer your correct answer over here is choice a let's mark this choice a is the correct answer 1.5 miles now one thing that i want you to realize over here is we translated the information it's a word problem so translation is a must right uh, we translated the information we visualized as i've already talked about now in terms of the formula i mean all of us know about the relationship between time distance and speed but frankly that the application of that formula is a very very small part to solve this question the main thing over here is what is the scenario that's given to us visualizing that scenario and that is the key piece that you need to build your skill set in how do you take the text the question given to you the text in the question how do you visualize that and then how do you come up with what it is what is the time what is the speed what is the distance and then how do you and then and then you simply apply the formula all right so definitely focus on building this process skill now we will apply this skill to a geometry question also, over the next few days, I will be uploading multiple questions to help you build these process skills. Click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as I add these questions.